We are back in applications of calculus to the physical world, right? Now, you might recall, um, like a couple of weeks ago, we looked at two of the subtopics, the first two parts of applications of calculus to the physical world. What were those two parts? Number one, rates of change, and secondly, exponential growth and decay. Um, now, you might recall, rates of change is really a, a two-unit topic. Exponential growth and decay, mostly a two-unit topic with a little bit of extension one in it. The reason we started with rates of change was, well, maybe I should ask, what kinds of questions, what kinds of scenarios did we encounter in that topic? Does anyone remember? It was pretty brief. Coffee. Sorry, say it again. Coffee. Coffee? What about coffee? The cooling. Oh, yeah, okay. I think that was, was that exponential growth and decay? I feel like that was exponential growth and decay, but that's okay. It's still, it's still the same kind of idea. We love them together because there's a temperature, it changes. Sure, what else? What else? Okay, so the, the idea of chain rule is how we approach each of the questions. Because wherever there are rates that are related to each other, we use chain rule, chain rule to change the variable. What kind of examples were we thinking of though? Like we have a cup of coffee, what else? Okay, we, we talked about sand, right? A pile of sand that was growing. Um, we talked about a tank of water that was emptying out. Um, yeah, any other thing? Okay, a population that was spiraling up or, or dropping down, okay. So all these kinds of things really, are uh, the course's way of saying calculus, good morning. Calculus really is the mathematics of change. And it's about any quantity that changes. Okay? But importantly, the two quantities that we are that we've historically and practically been most interested in comparing quantities <coughs> of change are um, position and time, which in a word is about motion, right? Objects moving over time. Now a lot of people have said to me over the years that I've been teaching this, ah. Oh, Motion. This is why I didn't study physics. Like I didn't want to do this. Um, like, do I, do I have to go through all of this kind of all this language, all these ideas? And the answer is, well, yes and no. Um, the the yes is well clearly, um, physics is very very interested in motion. Okay, but at the same time, physics and <coughs> motion in a mathematical context are very very different. So I thought because I've been I've been trying to spend years trying to wrap my head around this, and we did this for extension two. Um, volumes as well. I want you to understand the way that these topics, particularly motion and physics, relate to each other and are different. Uh, remember we just said calculus in the physical world, we've looked at, good morning, grab one of these. Why do I have so few? I should have had exactly enough. Has anyone got spares that I accidentally put spares on people's desks? No? Oh, everyone did, I got it exactly right? Okay, you just lost, that's all. In Calculus in the physical world, right? I want us to remember the two things that we've just looked at most recently are um, rates of change, rates of change, and what I'm going to call, we, we've been calling it exponential growth and decay, but really what it is is natural growth and decay, right? In the natural world, things grow and they decay in proportion to their size or in proportion to their difference from some quantity, for example, their difference to the ambient temperature, okay? So these are these two ideas here, right? When we have a look at motion, which again is its own subtopic, we're really thinking about um, two particular things within motion. And I'm gonna kind of cover tune extension one and extension two at the same time because it all fits together. So draw yourself a line, a dotted line kind of down the middle here. The first thing we're going to look at is, um, and this is mainly in two unit, three unit, is called kinematics. Kinematics. That's with a K, right? The topic, the area, the, the um, study of kinematics is all about how are things moving? How are things moving? Uh, you'll have an object or several objects, and all you want to ask about is in what manner is its position changing with respect to time? How is it moving? That's the question, okay? So under this idea of relating position and time, there are three key concepts, and you will all have heard of these ideas before, but we're going to dig into each of them. So when we talk about, okay, where is something? What is its position? The important idea for us is displacement. Now, displacement is a word which has um, many meanings in many different contexts. But for us, the idea is, how far have you been displaced, moved away from where you've begun? Okay. Now, 
this is all about, like when we said, oh, rates of change, right? This is not just a, a subtopic. This is the whole thing. Everything is about rates of change. So when displacement is changing, when your position is changing over time, that's such an important idea. We give it its own name. We call it velocity. Velocity is how displacement is changing over time. But again, we want to be interested in how that's changing as well. How's your velocity changing as time changes? And we give that another name as well. We call it acceleration. So these three concepts, displacement, velocity, acceleration, they are all about answering the question, you've got an object, a particle, a point. How is it moving? Can you describe that to me? Okay. Now, kinematics is very closely related to, but different to, mechanics. These bo both fall under motion. And by the way, I should say, I, I'm sort of broadly oversimplifying this idea, but I'm trying to get to the heart of what makes these things different. Mechanics isn't so much interested in how something is moving. It's more interested in the question of, why is it moving in that way? It's doing that, it's moving back and forth and back and forth, or it's accelerating and accelerating and getting faster and faster forever, or getting slower and slower forever. But mechanics is trying to ask the question, well, why is it moving like that? Why is it moving in that particular fashion? Why is the particle, the object, behaving in the way that it is? Okay, so underneath the heading of mechanics, and this is where extension two students will kind of take over, there are two important ideas, which we don't have to worry about as two unit and extension one students. Those two ideas are, how heavy is something? That kind of has a really, really big impact on why is it moving in the way that it's moving. And also, what things are influencing that object? We call those forces, right? So things like gravity or air resistance or whatever medium you're in, these are all exerting forces on your object, which therefore affect your acceleration, affect your velocity, affect your displacement. Okay.